friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe this surgery the patient is a 35 old male having benign enlargement of the prostate gland and the patient is on tamsulosin we have started this surgery the occlusal space is being thoroughly irrigated after applying few drops of povidone iodine and now this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratom now a bit of adrenaline is being and still is being administered and we can see that the people is dilating a bit more the size of the people was about 5 mm and now it is about 5.5 or 5.75 mm side port is then made on the left side of the main incision and now i go to the coaxial elimination and do capsular excess the microscope is lumera t from jais and the fecomation is oatly catrex 3 Hydro dissection is done. And now the antechamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now I use the pre-chopper to divide the nucleus into pieces. This is the first cut. Rotate the nucleus and this is the next cut. Inject a bit of SPMC. Go again with the pre-chopper and the sustainer. Rotate the hemineucleus that is to be pre-chopped and pre-chop it into two pieces. Come out. inject visco again and now i'm going to use the oi hook to retract the iris when i use the feco handpiece you go and drop the iris margin and i take the pieces out of the capsular bag bring it at the iris plane and consume it you can see that the iris is tending to prolapse through the side port people has become small but with this technique we are able to manage the nucleus this is the completion of the management of the nucleus and now i come out inject visco this part of the a video the nucleus management part has been slowed down a bit 90% of the real speed now i use a simco cannula to remove the cortex Now we take the bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove the subincisional cortex.
So, cortical cleanup is very well done. Few fibers are there at 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock, but these are I, I, I covered under the iris. I took a uh, Simco and attempted to remove them, but the iris was coming on the way. And now I injected Fisco because in floppy iris, if we try to implant to hydro implantation, then suddenly the iris may come out through the main wound. And if we wrap the iris with the eye well, then there is a chance of iris stromal atrophy. And now, a clean up of the visco is done. I use Simco first for some time. Go behind the eye well, irrigate and aspirate the capsular bag. Again, do some irrigation and aspiration of the anterior chamber in front of the eye well. And then, I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration. Irrigation is placed in such a way that the iris doesn't prolapse through the main wound. Well done. So we have managed this eye phase with the help of a uh, pre chopper and a uh, y hook and we have avoided use of a people expansion device this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is nicely formed integrity of all the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.